Hey, what's up? Ben here from blogwithben.com. And in this quick video, I'm gonna show you how to easily create a child theme for your WordPress blog. Now, before we get started, if you find this video helpful, I'd greatly appreciate it if you would like, comment, share, and subscribe to the Blog With Ben YouTube channel. Your support helps me keep this channel going and I greatly appreciate it. All right, with that being said, let's get started. So I'm gonna head over to my WordPress dashboard, which is what you're looking at right now. And I gotta say, having a child theme is by far one of the most important aspects of building a WordPress blog because it can save you a ton of time and headaches due to the updates that are made to the parent theme by its developers. Now, if you're new to the concept, a child theme is a theme that inherits the functionality of a parent theme, which is the initial theme you install on your WordPress blog or website. That's called a parent theme. Now, the reason that a child theme is so important is because it allows you to modify or add to the functionality of a parent theme. It's hands down the best, safest, and easiest way to modify an existing theme. And if you don't have a child theme, every change you make could potentially be lost when there's an update to the parent theme. And basically, if you're going to be customizing your theme, then you need a child theme. Now, there are a few ways to go about creating a child theme, but for this video, we're gonna be using a plugin called the Child Theme Wizard. This super light plugin makes creating a child theme super simple. I'd also like to add that out of all the child theme plugins that I've used in the past, this plugin is the easiest and quickest to use. Okay, so if you haven't done so already, you'll need to install and activate the Child Theme Wizard plugin. So real quick, within your WordPress dashboard, hover your mouse over plugins and click on add new. Then we'll search for child theme wizard. And there it is. Then go ahead and install and activate it by clicking the install button. And then click the activate button. Perfect. You should get a notification letting you know that it has been activated. Next, after you've activated the plugin, within your WordPress dashboard, hover your mouse over Tools and click on Child Theme Wizard. And that will bring you to the setup process, which is pretty straightforward, but let me walk you through it real quick. First things first, you'll want to make sure you have the correct parent theme selected. This should be whatever theme is currently active. Then below that, you can give your child theme a title and description, and this can literally be whatever you want it to be. Then for the child theme URL and the author URL, you can just use the URL of your blog. And then click the create child theme button, and in a few short moments, you have a child theme. How easy was that? Now we still need to activate it, so hover your mouse over Appearance and click on Themes. And you can see that we now have our child theme. Then to activate it, hover your mouse over it and click the Activate button. And in a few short seconds, you should get a notification letting you know that the child theme has been activated. Then I recommend visiting your site by clicking that Visit Site link to make sure that the theme is behaving correctly. And it is. However, I'm using a demo blog for the sake of this video, so my theme doesn't look like much right now, but after you activate your child theme, you'll wanna do a quick review of your site to ensure that everything is working properly. So that's gonna do it for this video. If you found it helpful, I'd greatly appreciate it if you would like, comment, share, and subscribe to the Blog With Ben YouTube channel. Also, now that you've started your blog, Check out these two videos on email marketing and blog monetization. They'll help you grow your audience and earn a passive income with your blog. And as always, your support means a great deal to me and my family. And for that, I thank you. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next video. And thanks for watching.